generation, and then she brings in her music as well. Okay, but it's a beautiful CD. It's a secret place. Reva Grant. Everybody say Reva Grant with me. Reva. Reva. William Aramel. William Aramel. Chuck Tobias. Chuck Tobias. When you say Chuck Tobias, you can't say Chuck Tobias. So Chuck Tobias. Chuck Tobias. All right. On the defensive side of the game, guys. But I'm glad to have all of them as guests of mine today. Uh, it's a pleasure to have them. I'll let them take over without further ado. Thank you. Please visit onunation.com. Onunation.com is where you can go and see more about the Legends and Heroes Tour. You can also see our apparel, and then you can also find out some of the other products that we provide, like screen printing and embroidery, okay? So, boys and girls, it's a safe website, okay? It's educational, so please go there. You'll find out even on our website, we've honored not only people like them, uh, these guests that we have here today, but we've honored educators in the field of, uh, uh, teachers in the field of education that were nominated for Teacher of the Year. So you get a chance to see a couple of them. One was a former NBA basketball player for the Dallas Mavericks, and he's now an educator, and last year was uh, selected as Teacher of the Year of North in Chicago. So a little secrets, a little history, okay? All right, y'all ready to go? Yeah. Okay, all at once. Y'all tired of hearing Mr. Jennings talk? Nope. No. <laughs> all right, thank you. It's very That's kind of you guys. All right, well, I'd like to start off with Miss Reba Grant. She's going to tell you, and then we'll go down as they begin to tell you a little bit more about themselves, their passion, and et cetera. Okay, hi, guys. Hello. Um, thanks for coming out, and... Uh, just to give you a little background about myself, I've been singing since I was about, hmm, I'd say three or four. And that's because my mom used to put me up before the church. And you know how it's so cute when a little girl or a little boy is singing, right? Well, that became my passion. So throughout grammar school and high school, I would get involved in talent shows, get together with some of my friends. You know, like you guys do, you get together with some of your friends and you put on and act and perform and that was fun to me. Um, school was important to me. School was very important to me. I stayed, I had my face in those books, but I had a passion to sing. And in order to develop that passion to sing, I had to start, and I didn't start until later on though, um, I had to start um, educating myself about singing. Even just recently, taking voice lessons, trying to, you know, make that gift work better. Like you guys, for you guys that are uh, sports, you know, sports fanatics, you know, you guys get out there. Those of you who are on football teams, you condition those bodies, you work hard, and sometimes it doesn't feel too good, does it? But guess what? You get out there on that field and you play the game. For those of you who are singers, you gotta do the same thing. You gotta get out there, get those voice lessons going. You may say, well, I, don't, I can't afford voice lessons. Well, guess what I did? I went on YouTube. Yeah. You guys know about YouTube, don't All you? All the time. All the time. <laughs> you got to be careful with YouTube, though. Some crazy stuff out there. But because I'm a stay-at-home mom, a lot of my time is spent at home. So I said, well, in order to keep my gift flowing and to keep my gift growing, I needed to invest in myself. And that's what you guys got to do. Whatever it is you're doing, you need to invest in yourself. And that means... Spending time feeding your gift. So I would go on to YouTube and pull up uh, people who were doing voice lessons. And I do the breathing exercises. I do the, the humming exercises. And believe it or not, I started singing better. Been singing for many, many, many years. But you can find out if you don't do anything with educating yourself about your gift, you may find out you're doing something wrong. And then later on, you can't use that gift for a, you know, the um, uh, ample amount of time. Like the, again, the sports. I say that a lot because I have two boys that are into sports. And sometimes they say, oh, it hurts. I'm like, yeah, but get out there and keep doing it. You know, keep working it. So it's important that you educate yourself about your gift, whatever that <coughs> gift is. Find out who's doing it. I'm not just talking about the artists you see on TV because those artists, they have to work out. They have voice coaches. They have, sometimes they're up till late at night. When I was recording my uh, CD, I was in the studio sometimes till one in the morning. So 
So it takes work, but it all pays off. Does anyone have any questions for Ms. Reba? Any singers in the audience? <laughs> okay. Gift has some longevity. You know what that means? Longevity. <laughs> It'll go on and on even after you. Do you write songs also? Yes. I have many, many songs. <laughs> and for those of you guys that uh, you hear lyrics, especially you rap artists, write those lyrics down, keep them in a journal, and then you get with your parents and do something that's called copywriting. Hmm. That means you need to get your songs, your lyrics, your music off to the Library of Congress so that you won't look up one day and find somebody on the television singing your song. Yeah, they had, yeah, they were at the awards. They had a big thing about that. Uh, they were singing their song. Yeah, the yeah. controversial song. They said that they stole it from someone else. You don't right. want that to happen to you. you Can you sing you want to sing right now? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah